Like, subscribe, and share to Voices of Linden TV. Welcome to another edition of the Let's Talk Show. I'm your host, Andrew James, and tonight I'm pleased to have with us in studio via Zoom, Ms. Shantobe Bright. Thank you for having me. Welcome aboard. Ms. Shantoba Bright is a former McKenzie High School student, year, nine, year 2012, sorry, to 2018. The lovely Miss Bright is also uh, the most active Karifta athlete in the East Street of Guyana. She's also Conference USA Long Jump Indoor Champion for 2020. Miss Bright, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's so very, very good. Welcome aboard. It's so nice to have you. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I know you're coming from McKenzie High School as it relates to your time, of course, at McKenzie High School. Hi, um, I started McKenzie High School in 2012, where I entered the Diamond Stream and then went on to the R Stream before entering Sixth Farm. Very good. How does McKenzie High School prepare you for the real, um, the world stage of um, college sport? Being at Mackenzie High School has shaped me into the young woman and phenomenal athlete that I am today. I've been running my whole life, but my jumping career started at Mackenzie High School after Sir Kevin Bonnet taught me how to long jump and then to the triple jump where I hooked up with Coach Johnny Gray Zandi, who helped me build the athletic foundation that I have today. Uh, being a student athlete at Mackenzie High School really helped me to perfect the notion of being a college athlete here in the United States. My teachers work endlessly with me to help me find a balance between track and school, which is really the centerpiece for being a college athlete. Very good, very, very good. Distinguished young lady, how does it feel to be um, called or recognized as the most decorative Karifta athlete in the history of Kayana. It's a really overwhelming feeling, you know, just doing what you love and just seeing how far, you know, being determined and persistent can take you. So it's a, it's a great feeling. Very nice. Any fond memories of the school and uh, anyone uh, in particular you want to recognize a shout out from McKenzie High School? I would like to shout out to all of my teachers. They know themselves. They know that they work endlessly to help me become who I am today. I want to send a special shout out to Ms. Vanessa Kissin because I don't know where I would be without her. She has always been there with me, always motivating me, always pushing me beyond my limits. You know, she saw my potential before anybody else did, and she worked tirelessly to help me groom and groom me into that person that I am today. Also, I want to say shout out to Miss Fordyce. She has kept me on track with my academics. No matter what, Miss Fordyce is going to be on you to become the best student that you can possibly be. A fond memory of McKenzie High School is PE. I love PE. So we would run around the block between McKenzie High and Regma. And because I was an athlete, and at that time I had already traveled abroad and competed and stuff, all the boys in my class wanted to race with me. So we'd all have a fun time running around the circle to see who wins because everybody wanted to beat me. So that was really fun. That's a fond memory that I carry with me. Nice. Very good. Did any of the young guys uh, ended up beating you or you were always coming out on top? Nah, I let them win. <laughs> oh, very nice. What do you do in your spare time when you're not running and you're not jumping? 
in my spare time, uh, so I'm a Christian. So in my spare time, I would go to church or I would get on Zoom sessions with fellow uh, Christian student athletes. And I also do poetry. It's really nice to, you know, write my feelings down on paper, you know, the, 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 the personal ones that you don't share with people, but you know, you feel like you just want to, you know, let it out. Mm. Excellent. Very, very nice. Sure. Very nice. Um, Ms. Uh, Bright, you mind sharing with us uh, one of your, if I may, favorite poems, if you are able to do so? Uh, I would like to share a little something I wrote. It's called God's Grace. Mm -hmm. I'm going to recite it from my phone. Um, my soul wandered from place to place. For I had drifted so far, I could no longer feel his grace. I had lost my faith and trust in him, forgetting that he is the king of kings. My sins had blinded me, and my life's burden had me bounded. But then his grace and mercy found me, and in his love and kindness I'm surrounded. Day by day I found my way, for on my knees steadfast I prayed. And in his grace forever I'll stay. Because, because his plans for me are greater than those of my enemies. For when I was lost, he came after me. And now his plans for my life is all I see. Family and friends forsaken me, but their negativity will never break me. For in his arms, he took me. And with his words, he hooked me. When the world confronted me, Jesus comforted me and allowed his grace and love to set me free. Now I've found my salvation. I'm compelled to share his message with people of every nation. Excellent. Very nice to say. I'm going to be your biggest cheerleader as it relates <laughs> to your running, your jumping, and of course, your love for poetry. Very nicely said. Just running up against time here, uh, Ms. Bright. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the transition over to Kansas State University and what the experience is like living in a new country all alone away from your parents? Well, uh, in 2018, I came over to the University of Texas at El Paso where I spent my first two years before I transferred to the K-State. Uh, Kansas State University, Wildcats. Um, the transition was smooth because my new coach and my recruiting coach was constantly in contact because Kansas State was actually the first school to offer me a scholarship, but I was, it, I was only 16 years old and I had two more years to finish high school. Within that two years, we kind of lost contact and I ended up at UTEP. So the transition was not as rough as I thought it would be. The only thing that I had to do was reclimatize because moving from Guyana to Texas, it was easier. <laughs> but moving from Texas to Manhattan, Kansas, it's yeah. like you're up north and it is cold, cold, cold. Yeah. And then being the only Guyanese athlete, not only from UTEP, but here at Kansas State, uh, it's kind of like lonely. You see other people from different ca Caribbean countries. They have like kind of like a partner, you know, somebody mm -hmm. that from their country that goes to school here. So they have that constant communication and, you know, they talk, their, they speak their language and it's all fun. And here I am by myself again with <laughs> nobody from Guyana, you know, being the first student at least here. And yeah. it's like, I have to kind of, in my head, remind myself that, you know, I'm not back home and now I have to try to speak proper English yeah. to, so I can communicate with everybody else. So, you know, the transition was easy in some aspect and then difficult in others. Excellent. Very nicely said. Um, what would you say to someone that's aspiring to be like Miss Bright? Someone in Ghana looking at this video and saying, I want to get out again. I want to get a uh, University of Texas. I want to get to Kansas State University. What would you say to that person? I would say never, ever give up on your dreams. No matter how long it takes, no matter how difficult things get, never give up. Keep working hard. Keep being persistent. Keep being disciplined. I cannot stress that enough. 
keep pushing, be determined to achieve whatever you set out for yourself. The best thing to do is put your plans down on paper. If you have a goal you wanna achieve, put it on paper. Then try to put down steps that you think you can do every day, one day at a time, step by step that you can do to achieve that goal. And you stay through to those steps. You be patient. Patience is everything. No matter how long it takes, what is for you will be for you. So keep working hard, keep doing the little things that matter in order for you to achieve that goal. And anything is possible. Very nice, just said, Ms. Bright. I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for being a part of the North American chapter of the McKenzie School Alumni Association. We salute you and everything you're doing. Um, we, you know, we love and appreciate you very much. You have made us look good. You've definitely put uh, McKenzie School on the map. You've put the town of Linden on the map. And more importantly, you've put your flag in your background on the map as well for good reasons. And for that. We want to consider you the hero for the month of March. Happy Women's Day, of course. Congratulations on your achievement. And keep smiling. Keep making a positive outlook in life. Keep running. Keep healthy. And, you know, be the best you can. The world is watching you. We are as well. So continue shining and continue doing good for yourself for your family, and of course, your country. God bless you. Thank you for sharing your experience. And thank you very much on behalf of everyone at Let's Talk Show for being a part of our show today. Thank you. Good night. Stay safe. And remember to wear your mask and follow all public health guidelines. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Very good. Take care. Stay safe. <laughs>